Good evening guys, this is UD from Unified Networking Lab. In this video I would like to show a very useful thing. It uh, probably the best would be for service provider studies, yeah, it's when you when you have to make a filtering in a BGP roadster or the massively to to filter them, yeah, it's and uh, for that for that purpose uh, the guys are created a very useful tool which is named a virtual route injector as a small virtual machine and I will show you how to load it into the UNL and how it use so the supported protocols in this moment is BGP, OSPF and RIP v2 but let's do step by step so the site where you can get the image is is free yeah it's an, uh, just just check this in your in your web yeah it's an, and you can you can jump directly to the screen so the next step is we need to download the qcow format file this one okay this one so i already downloaded it and the next step will be here is it yeah the next step will be to unzip and prepare it for unl let's do it so i'm going to extract and i'm using the 7zip which is the best one it's using the linux protocol inside yeah it's and i'm going to extract into the uh, qcal folder okay let's do this it's a very should be fast <coughs> so done you can see the new folder is created here and the image is inside so that's fine but what we what we gonna do now the next very important thing is the folder name the folder name uh, inside of the okay uh, inside the UNL the all folder names are binded with the templates that's mean if you are choosing and uh, using your UNL you know that you have to um, you have to do the proper names for the uh, images. So in this case, uh, the vrin is um, binded under the Linux uh, template, and I'm going to rename. And the correct folder name will be the Linux dash vrin. Okay, just just check this. So I'm going to do this. Control C, and I'm going to rename. All right. So rename done, and the next step we have to rename the image inside of it. So image is, is by default and at that's way. And I'm going to rename. Let's check it maybe. Uh, where is my Venus CP? <clears throat> so I'm going to into my UNL. So the paths where the images are based are chemo and Linux. Linux, 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 Linux. Yeah, there is it. So the correct name will be hda.qcal2. So I'm going to copy and rename it. Dash. So the first step was correct, rename, rename the correct name, uh, give a correct name for this folder, then go inside and rename the image done so uh, the folder is prepared but as you see it's already loaded inside of my UNL yeah but if you need to load that just find correct pass in the UNL all chemo images are based here all right the same here this one and just copy paste or drag and drop here and your image will be loaded so done Let's do some small lab now. <coughs> so I, I already created one, yeah, but I will do it. So I'm using the newest newest UNL. It will be announced in a couple of couple of weeks, and you will be very happy to see it. Yes, yeah, but I will not show that ma how many features are, are working, as you see the other uh, other uh, the buttons are, are on the left side here. Yeah. Okay, but let's do what we what we have to do. Node. Okay, and we have to do that's Linux. Where is Linux? Linux here and the vrin image. Yeah, you remember the folder name is Linux dash vrin dash o dot seven. Here is it. So the memory we need not one twelve should be enough. Okay, the Ethernet safe. Okay, that's uh, Linux. Maybe rename it. Uh, it is a very, very good. Okay, 
And let's connect it. Uh, hmm. <coughs> connect to the network. Good. So my lab is done and let's start it. Start the router. <coughs> so I will show you that I already configured this router. So what I did, you can see, I configured a loopback IP address. I configured the internet 00, which is this one, and IP address is 10.1. 10 and I configured the router OSPF1, router ID, is given a loopback IP address and the network in area 0. As well, I configured the router BGP and the router ID and the network and the neighbor, which will be our varying device. Let's do I'm starting the varying. Open up. It's using the VNC for console, but it will be pretty good, pretty easy to use. <coughs> <coughs> okay, done. Let's start step by step. So the first thing we have to get connectivity between your varying device to the our router. I'm going to, as you see, you can use just an arrows here. Yeah, it's an enter or tab. Yeah, it's a to moving on this screen and pretty simple. So I'm going to enter and let's configure the physical interface. And we have, so let me check again. Yeah, it's, we have done. 10.1 and the neighbor will be 1010. .10. Okay, let's give the address 10.10. .10. Cool. Uh, Netmask is 24 and the network will be 100. Done. A Lubeck interface, oh, it's already configured, but we can give your interface IP address. Good. Enable routing protocols. We will test first the OSPF. Okay, uh, sorry. Oops. Using the space, you can uncheck. Yeah, so you can see that's do not check together. Yeah, it's because uh, the BGP and OSPF will generate the same routes, and of course only OSPF will appear. Yeah, it's because external eBGP routes will be striped off. Okay, uh, I'm using the OSPF. OSPF settings, the next one, it is area 0, you can change to 1, 2, OK. And here you can mark which roads will be injected in your topology, and so I'm going to leave, it's E2, All right. Uh, uh, you can you can add the redistribution matrix or, or whatever you need, yeah, it's, um, if, if it is for filtering purposes or for some tests, but I'm leaving a blank. All right, so the BGP is not in case, rip not here, authentication settings, none. Yes, I'm using nothing, I use none. So that's fine. Uh, prefixes, there you can change any IP address. Yeah, it's I believe that that same, yeah, it's actually we can add 1198, yeah triple zeros so it's a how many prefixes so how many roads you wish okay I'm saying I want to 120 roads all right all right show all settings you can verify so we have the IP address of the interface we have a network we have a loopback BGP is off OSPF is on OSPF area is all right metric type is E2 redistribution metric is none RIP is off authentication type is not used authentication type you can use only for OSPF and the RIP so and uh, our prefixes will start okay just a sec let me check connectivity to our uh, let's say drone conf t oh x pink so it's success perfect and the last step what we left we have to generate roads let's do i sure yes i'm sure let's check on wait <clears throat> it will take some time, yeah, it's uh, because it's generating these roads inside of your machine and then it is sending to the your router. Let's wait. <laughs> Actually, I did mistake, <laughs> so I'm waiting the roads, but I configured the incorrect uh, incorrect network. That's my mistake. It's uh, that's why why the trouble starts. Yeah, it's uh, show settings and network. Network is ten, but not one hundred. I did one hundred. Okay, let's generate roads again. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, and look at this. In a console immediately appear at the adjacency process. Yeah, it's so we're gonna check show IP routes uh, summary. And look at this, the 125 roads and show IP route. You are going inside, you're gonna see the incredibly a lot, 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 lot of roads. Yeah, it's what we generated. So I'm going to generate the BGP. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm enabling router protocol. I'm going to disable OSPF and enable BGP. Uh, BGP settings, local AS, yes. let's check local, that's mean for this guy, for wearing drone. And my another neighbor, sure, um, my another neighbor is 6501, okay. Got remote AS, yes. yeah, that's much. So, and the neighbor IP address is 10.1, right? 10.1, yes, 10.1. Okay, I'm saying, so that's it, nothing else, remote, and the neighbor IP, that's to generate roads, let's try. <clears throat> sure, yes. And you can see the BGP neighbor is up. Yeah, it's and we can check what happens there. Show IP BGP. Look at this. You got the EBGP routes from another AS and happy, happy. <laughs> yeah, it's an actually, yeah, it's very useful tool. Yeah, it's, I like it. Yeah, it's because it's small, tiny. Yeah, it's and you can generate. The guys uh, wrote me that they tried to generate up to 10,000 routes and then use the prefixes to filter them and, and do the, anything what you wish. I think that it is it will be very useful for you for your studies and thank you for viewing.